Greetings gentlemen and ladies. In today's video I'm going to be showing you how to set up uh, animation triggered uh, events, animation animation notif notifications, anim notifies, uh, to do things like create footsteps or to create like in this case a dust effect, a rather bad looking dust effect in my case right now where the, where the footstep uh, hits the ground. So let's jump into this. This is actually really quite simple to do. Um, you can start by actually you can start by going ahead and just creating a new uh, anim notify blueprint class. So just right click of course go to blueprint class and go to anim notify. Uh, it, it will be this one here. Go ahead and uh, select that. For the uh, sake of this tutorial I'm going to call this the YouTube example notify not the best name but hey it'll work um, from here we can go ahead and open up our animation uh, in this case I already have the two dust effects that you saw uh, in this so for this example I'm just gonna go ahead and select this point of the animation for when the notify is going to uh, basically fire so in this case the uh, notif notifier fires exactly when that that boot hits the ground right there and in this case it fires exactly when that boot hits the ground there this little uh, starting diamond is the point of the animation when this event will fire so what I'm gonna do here is I'm just gonna right click where I want to add my notify and uh, from here you'll see a list of all of your different animation anim notify blueprint classes so here we have the YouTube example notify that we just created it's a bit long. Let's actually go ahead and just make that a little bit... Uh, we'll just move that. You know what? It doesn't matter. This is just for example. It's not in the right place or anything uh, because I've already got my footsteps in place, but this is just for example. So this is the point when this will trigger. Now, let's go ahead and open up our, uh, our Anim Notify Blueprint. And from here, we're going to go to Override the Received uh, Notify Event. And that will make us a nice little uh, function here with, with a few default things like mesh component. That is uh, basically the skeletal mesh of the animation. Uh, the animation uh, sequence itself and the event reference. I'm not quite sure what that's for. Uh, anyway, uh, that's okay. Because what we're going to do here is we're going to go ahead and create a variable. This will be just a nice simple variable. Let's just call this out for easy reference. Let's call that socket. And that will just be an, a name variable type. Uh, and we're also going to want to make that uh, exposed so that we can uh, access that in our in our animation. So I'll just go ahead and compile and save that and go back to our animation sequence. And now when you click on this little part right here, uh, there we go, let's just click on that little part right there, over in the details we will see our exposed variable called socket. So a socket, yeah, and this could be any number. This is a flexible thing. You're, you know, creating variables as you need them. But in this case, I'm using socket because I, I want to get the location of, say, the right foot or the left foot. Uh, for the sake of this uh, tutorial, I'm just going to use the head because it's nice and obvious, and we can see what we're doing, right? So right here, we want to trig. We want to uh, basically uh, send the variable uh, socket uh, name head. Now we could actually use this exact same one again, right? Uh, we can let's say put it right over here. Uh, add notify. There we go. So we could put that in twice. But I could say, for example, this might be the head, and this might be. And it, let's even do that. Let's go hand hand R. Uh, and th so there's there's our head, and there's our hand R. So these two will send. Uh, a different variable um, value for the socket uh, depending on which one is being hit. So in this case, for example, left foot, right foot, head, hand. You know, it's just I'm just using random examples here uh, so you guys will be able to see what's going on. Um, let's go ahead back into our uh, anim notify uh, function. And what I'm going to do here is I'm actually just going to do something like get socket location and the socket location uh, I, I want it to be whatever the socket location value is it could be head or it could be hand R depending on which one's being uh, hit at, at that point of the animation and I'm just gonna get that location because I want to do something like spawn a special effect so let's say I want to spawn an emitter or a Ni Ni Niagara system uh, at location. Let's go spawn emitter at location. 
and I don't know I'm not sure what all these effects I have here are hopefully I'll choose one fire trail large fire embers uh, large fire sure I don't know what that is but we're gonna find out so that's the uh, special effect that I'm going to spawn and I'm just gonna say where I want it to spawn uh, at the location of the mesh so we're getting from the mesh component that is the skeletal mesh of the animation basically our character right so from that we're getting the socket location of the head or the hand or whatever is being hit we're getting that socket location and we're saying that's where we want to spawn the special effect in this case is the uh, fire uh, large explosion I don't know what this is going to happen here to be perfectly honest but uh, hopefully now that should work when we start playing our animation that should all be actually all there is to it all right so let's jump in and see if that indeed worked or if I missed something all right so yeah there we go <laughs> uh, that's a fairly dramatic effect but uh, there we go it's kinda hard to see but I do believe that I'm gonna slow that down yeah there we go there's the one spawning at the right hand there's the one spawning at the head there we go should be there we go spawn at right hand and spawn at head socket it's a little bit subtle because it's kind of a, a thick animation but I think you guys should be able to see that that's kind of all there is to it so now you can get kind of you can kind of do whatever you want to do right you can uh, set up additional variables you can have different uh, you know sounds or effects or kind of whatever you need but that's basically how you communicate animation uh, states with uh, animation notify uh, anim notify blueprint to uh, kind of do whatever you need to do okay hope you guys have enjoyed today's video uh, see you in the next one oh and by the way I have started up a patreon uh, if anybody feels like that extra support extra extra like helpful and supportive uh, I'm, I'm certainly uh, willing to uh, to uh, appreciate my very first patron so <laughs> if anyone wants to be that uh, I would not uh, not be sad about that okay thank you guys appreciate uh, you watching see you in the next one